Welcome to the woods, ladies and gentlemen. Shaping experiences through innovation. The Husqvarna brand is since 330 years an icon, I would say, of innovation. An innovation with the user and the customer at the center, at the core. So a lot has happened in Chainsaws over the last decades. And I have to say, I'm proud. I'm proud about the history of innovation with the customer and with the customer in mind um, within the chainsaw field of the Husqvarna brand. This is what our DNA is and this is what keeps us going every day. And it is to create better experience for our users out there. I'm proud about this history and I'm even more proud about the future that is ahead of us. And there's nobody better to talk about this process and this journey um, of how do we get to this, as we say, better work day than our head of global design, Please welcome with me Tove Resman. I have a global team of 30 designers located in US, Germany and Sweden. I think this is a prime example of how design work in our development. First, when you develop something, it must add value. Because if there is no value, why should you even bother? The second thing, is that it has to be usable. And the third, but not the least thing, is that you want to use it. It should be desirable. And that's how we create great user experience. I think, it, I think if, it, if, it, if you're passionate about it and it's in your, in your blood, I suppose, I think you'll always do it. When I talk to people about what we do and they say, isn't it crazy that you're hanging off like a, a 12 mil piece of rope with a chainsaw? And you're like, oh, well, yeah, we are, but I also know my limitations. I make sure that when I'm cutting, I'm safe. So for me, I can't switch off being an arborist. I think I'm pretty much a 24-7 eat, sleep and eat, sleep and drink sort of trees, I think. So today, it's all about arborists. It's about tree climbing and it's about tree care. When we develop things for this user group, we must understand how we can help them solving their pains and stress. And it's not only about the product itself. It's also about all the accessories and everything that's come around. But I think it's very important to understand that the chainsaw and the product is not only about cutting for this target group or pruning. It's also part of the ascend or the climbing. So in, when you design this product, you need to understand how you really make this as something that you actually can carry 25 meters above ground.
I'm so proud of being here in front of you and presenting two brand new chains for Husqvarna. It's the T540i XP and the 540i XP, two brand new battery chainsaws. So these new are equivalent to a 40cc professional petrol saw. So what can you tell me about how this changes the work life for the arborist? Mm. Uh, the power is of course mandatory for an arborist. They must depend on that they can do the work with mm. these chainsaws and they can. There is also a new interface on these chainsaws. Can you tell us a little bit about that as well? Correct. On the previously chainsaws we have launched, we also have interface which has been very much appreciated. And therefore we have made it totally new designed user interface with big buttons that is easy to fi find, easy to activate. And have in mind that arborists quite often could start and stop the chainsaw up to 30 times per hour. So by this you can do like this and it's ready to go. So very simple in that sense. Apart from the keypad, there was an information window here. And what you can see here directly is battery status, which means when you're up in the tree doing a really big drop cut, for example, you can have a look and see, I got the power that is needed to do this cut. Okay. So you see it's activated, and you can also see that chain break is activated, so a very clear information window for things that is important for our users. We have the Husqvarna DNA, three things here. We have the balance, we have the cutting capacity, but we also have the third thing, and that's durability. What can you tell us about the robustness on mm. the new chainsaw? As Sasha mentioned before, we have been working and developing and selling chainsaws for more than 60 years, and that gives us a lot of heritage and a lot of knowledge that we have, of course, used when we designed these chainsaws also. So I would say Husqvarna knows how to develop and choose the right material and best component available there. Regarding durability, we also have IPX4 protection on these chainsaws, which means it's protected from splashing water, which means that you can for sure use this in all different kinds of weathers. Okay, so one top handle and one rear handle. What tells them apart? The top handle chainsaw is 100% for the professional arborist working up in the tree. That's a tool for them. The rear handle has got the same power but it's also perfect for the ground crew, for the arborist, or for farmers. And I also, since those ca this can be used indoors, it's perfect for carpenter or maybe sawmills. So, well, let's see how many users will find this and new applications for this chain. So it's very versatile in the round saw. Okay, so is it any other innovations you would like to highlight on this? You know, Tuve, I can yeah. talk for two hours, I think, about innovations, because yeah. these chains, so they are really filled with innovations. A lot of great ideas, both what you can see here in front of them, but also inside. And one thing I would like to highlight is that the battery through body, the designer, you know, the battery goes there and also on that side. So if I choose that battery, which is a bit bigger, it will still be in the center of gravity unchanged, which makes the balance still perfect. Or if you go for a smaller battery, for example, for pruning work, which you then can reduce half a kilo extra mm -hmm. on this uh, product, you still have the perfect balance. Mm -hmm. So the battery, that is one invention. Then we have worked very much regarding see-through here, because the arborists need to see the log, what it's doing. So therefore we have worked a lot of the angles of the handle, and there we have patent pendings on that one too. We have built-in connectivity here. And that means that we now have opened a door for the whole world of new features and new functions to become later on. Thank you very much, Per. Thank you too well. Andreas Rangert, Vice President for our Tree Pro customer unit. Welcome, Andreas. Thank you. I would say that, I mean, who's going battery strategy uh, is, is to have an e equivalent offer in battery and petrol where applicable, uh, where technology allows, so to speak. And, and these two chainsaws are a typical example of that. We have stretch limits uh, now, now equivalent to 40 cc, uh, and, and that's uh, part of the long term strategy that we have. Do you think that battery will replace petrol? Uh, yes, but uh, at the different times. It depends so much on, on application, it depends so much on market. Uh, you have um, small 
domestic homeowner applications like trimming and, and hedge trimming. Uh, they are more or less there already. Uh, majority of the products is, is, uh, is battery. Uh, we have uh, petrol ride-ons uh, that will take many, many years to replace. Uh, big harvest forestry chainsaws, uh, not only because it's not not because it's the technology that uh, maybe limits that, it's the weight, to some extent the cost, but also the infrastructure to carry batteries out in the forest versus carry, carry petrol is, is a little bit different story. However, in this area, we believe there is a pretty quick growth. Uh, today, it's around 90% still petrol, uh, so it's still on, 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 the, on the verge of taking off. It will take off in, in uh, probably European countries, Western European countries first, and, and grow quite, quite quick. US probably a little bit slower and emerging markets as well. So it depends a little bit where you are in the world as well. So what's really unique with this battery for these new chainsaws? Or is it the same battery as um, the previous It's not generation? really the same. And, and Pierre alluded a little bit to mm. it. Uh, we have BLI 200 and BLI 300 today on the market already. Those mm. fit to these products, uh, especially that one where you have the BLI 300 already as, as a kind of standard. Uh, because that's a more of a ground saw that you use for, for those kind of applications, you maybe need a little bit more um, uh, runtime. Uh, however, on this one, we wanted to optimize back to what I said before around optimizing the, the needs of the customer. Here we need to optimize the weight versus the power. Thank you very much, Andreas. Thank you. And I think it's time to hear from some real users. So the new battery saw really surprised me. It was like a real uh, wow moment. I was, I was blown away by it. I think every climbing arborist needs this saw. My instant reaction to those 540s, the new battery products, is that they're amazing, really impressive. Not only do you get the same or better efficiency and cutting capacity, but you also have less vibrations, less noise and less fumes, which is better on your body. They almost cut too quick. They're so efficient. I, I can't get over it, how, how quick and efficient they, uh, the cuts are. You can just turn it on, make the cut and move on. It, it just makes your life so much easier. As an arborist top handle saw, I think it's, I think it's a complete game changer. Yeah, for, the, for the future, the battery is here to stay. What would I say to them? Try it. Be open-minded and try it, because you'll be surprised, definitely. Joe Hedger and Scott Forrest, welcome. <laughs> You've been using these saws for a while now. What's your honest opinion, Scott? Oh, look, they're just fantastic. Um, they're just a great saw to use. Um, it makes my everyday work life just so much easier. You know, um, Pierre talked about smiles on faces. You know, make, using the saw makes me happy. When I open up the back of my truck and I, I pull the saw out, I know it's just going to be a good day. Mm. So, Joe, what would you say is the main benefit or benefits? Definitely the power and performance. So, for me, t it's really important for my job that the saw is reliable and I'm confident that the saw is going to perform as I want it to make the cuts make my job easier and then the benefits of obviously using battery for uh, reduced vibration reduced um, uh, noise no emissions from a health point of view uh, to look after myself and my employees it's, it's a massive benefit and um, if I'm, I'm being employed to look after trees why would I not also look after myself and, and others around me? So, massive benefit. This isn't the first battery saw, and it's not even the first professional battery saw. So, what's new this time, Scott? Uh, I think, like you already heard, there's so many new features on these saws. Um, but for me, the most impressive thing I like about it is uh, more power, more grunt, uh, better performance, and uh, with the battery, longer battery life, and that enables me to be able to um, do more work, cut more branches, get more stuff on the ground and, and be more productive in my, in my daily work and that's, that's just a huge bonus for me. So how does this product perform when it comes to precision and maneuverability? Um, well the saw is nice and compact, um, really lightweight, uh, the, the handle positions are really um, ergonomic, it makes it nice and functional to use. 
Um, it's easy to hang on the harness and climb around the tree. Um, follows you around nicely when you're swinging on the branches. And um, when you're hanging in really awkward positions, sometimes you'd be like a 45 degree angle and awkward. You can lift the saw off and uh, get it into a good position because it's, it's just easy to handle. And what about your ability? So when you look at the chainsaws, uh, there's no difference in look and feel when you hold them to a petrol chainsaw. They, they look amazing. They look very professional. And we've been testing a number of them at our company for six months. They've been treated no differently. Just because they're battery, we haven't sort of um, wrapped, wrapped them up in bubble wrap. We've chucked them in the trucks. They've been uh, obviously climbed with, so bashed about in the trees. Uh, back at the yard, all the saws get put back in cabinets, so they might be at the bottom. Um, and we've had no issues durability-wise. The, the, the build quality on them is excellent. And I, I can see a long life of them. So compared to my petrol equivalents, there's no reason why uh, this wouldn't outlive uh, the petrol saws that we've got. Thank you so much for being here.